Hello friends, welcome back to the talk. In the previous session, we have seen how we can install the WebLogic server using the silent file or from the command line. Okay. In this video, we will see how we can uh, run the VNC server and then how we can install the WebLogic or how we can configure the domain in the graphical interface mode. Okay. So for that one, let me first bring up your my AWS machine. Okay. Let me log into my AWS account okay it's already there my account is logged in so i'm there let me see the number of instances okay and I, as i have shown you in the session one or part one uh, if you do not have a linux machine and you want it for a testing purpose then you can create a free linux machine on the amazon aws cloud okay and even if you need the machines with bit higher configuration for the installation configurations of weblogic and some other resources okay then you can create the uh, t2 medium or t2 large machine <coughs> sorry <coughs> that come with the 4 gb or 8 gb of ram okay and for that you have to pay a bare minimum of amount okay the charges are very less uh, but only thing that you have to make sure when you do your work on the machines you can bring up the machine okay for example let me bring up my machine for that you have to select the instance and then start instance <coughs> okay so this will start your machine in couple of seconds or a minute okay and after that once your machine up and running you can access that do your testing and once your uh, work is done then you can stop this machine from the here only okay this is the stop instance okay so that if your instance is not running then you mean that you have you don't have to pay anything for that one okay so till your machine is shut down in shut down state okay whatever the configuration that you have taken it will not be charged so it will be only charged for the period till that your machine is up and running okay let me show you my billing and cost management okay i have four machines with medium and large configurations right which i have been using since last more than a month now <coughs> okay and for that my total billing amount so far is around 16 or 17 dollar hardly okay you can calculate it how much is in the inr by multiplying with that somewhere around 80 okay and this is the cost of my four machines where i have uh, let me show you the my, my machines okay what is the configurations of my machines okay so i have four machines for so far okay and then all four is having the configurations of t2 the large t2 medium t2 large and then t2 medium four machines okay it is come with the different configurations that you can see in the uh, configuration as well or you can go to your aws and then you can check for the configurations of the different different machines okay that will come as t2 dot large medium and the costing is associated with the instance type what kind of a instance that you are creating okay so this is about the ec2 instance so now you can see my machine is up and running right so i am going with my this machine so to access my machine i have to select the ip address public ip address then go back to your ssh client put your ip address here and then to access the graphical interface using some graphical tool because you are going to access the gui from your local pc right and to the remote machine so for that you have to make a tunneling and after tunneling you have to use a a uh, small client for the graphical interface that i am going to show you okay for tunneling what exactly you need to done first in the session you have to enter your ip address go to the tunneling option which is there inside the connections okay and then you have to put the source port as 5901 inside the destination right localhost colon 5901 see okay? because we are going to access the graphical interface from our local host so we will put destination as local host and then the port we are going to specify 5901 okay and this port will be running inside your linux machine so that it will make a port forwarding and you can able to access the linux console from your local machine okay so now what we have done we have entered the session our ip address inside the connection and then tunnel we have to give the option 5901 and then destination localhost colon 5901 and once this is done you have to click on add after add it will show you here okay now you have to click on open okay so after that you have to log into your machine with the username and password okay if you haven't enabled the username and password then you can use a private key as well which i have shown in the previous session right how you can log in with the 
private key okay so i have enabled the uh, password login as well that's why it is i am getting the password now okay so now i am there inside my machine okay so let me turn that on how we can access the console there are two things one if you are working in a support environment okay then certain things that you need to be taken care at the os level that means installation of the graphical interface tool at your os level right that will be taken care by your system administrators you don't need to worry about that one you just need to uh, create the tunnel as i have shown you then after that what you have to do you have to download some vnc software like this one and which you can install directly from the internet go to browser and set download uh tiger vnc okay either you can go for tiger vnc or you can go for tight vnc okay so once you will go to the download type vnc then you will straight forward get a small installer here you can click on this one this will be downloaded on your system right and then you can open this one and install so once it is installed and click on this one it will give you the option like this one this is the software which i have downloaded which is tight tight vnc mm -hmm. so this is one of the exercise that you need to done on your uh, system right to access your graphical interface and after that as i shown you you can open your console right where you have to give the <coughs> where you have to give the uh, port forwarding in, inside your connections okay inside the tunnel right this is the unit to done but if you are um, if you have to do the everything from the scratch you have got a new linux machine where you have to do the setup of vnc as well or maybe you are doing some your exercise on the aws machine for some testing purpose there before accessing the interface you have to do the installation of the gi at the linux level and for that there are certain commands that i have explained in the lab document okay if you need this lab document this is available on bare minimum cost you can write me on gtalk.fmw.gmail.com okay there are a lot of other uh, documents are available lab documents are available for your exercise okay so what you need to do is this is the command then you run <coughs> okay this is if you are doing the first time setup of your interface on your linux machine however this is the uh, part of your system administrators but this is required if you are doing some r d on your aws machines right for your testing purpose so this will install your graphical interface and then you have to enable this one so that it will be started once you will start your machine so that means now your interfaces is done okay after that you have to install the vnc server on your linux, linux machine because the tool that we have downloaded it is just a client interface to accessing the vnc server okay but actual vnc server will be running on your linux machine right so after installing your graphical interface you have to install the tiger vnc on your linux machine so once this tiger vnc is installed <coughs> then you have to do the, this particular exercise okay however as i said in in most of the production environment if you are working for a client then your work will start from here you have to create a tunnel and then download this particular client and then you can access the graphical interface this is only required if you have a machine that is you have to build from the scratch then you have to install the graphical user interface and then you have to install the tiger vnc software yep. so now we have done with that one okay now what we'll do we'll uh, start our vnc server on our port okay so how to start vnc server for that you have to write vnc server colon one now colon what exactly is colon one one is the port okay so that means if you are giving one that means the services will be accessible on 5901 okay so let me go back and show you the configurations of the machine the tunneling what we have done in the tunneling we have given the port 5901 so in that case we have to start the vnc server on colon one port if you are writing here some different port like 5902 then you have to install the start the vnc server on port 2 similarly if you are going to use some other port 5903 5904 because sometimes we uh, initiate the multiple interfaces for different users for that in that case we run the vnc server on different or different ports so for that you can change your code accordingly here right so i have given the 5901 so i will start the vnc server on port 1 with this command it will take fraction of second and then after some time your vnc process is up and running which you can check as well okay like this one now you can see that your vnc server service is running on the port colon 01 now for that to access this one from graphical interface you have to specify a password for the vnc server so for that you can write vnc password and then then you can write any password of your choice and then it will prompt you for would you like to enter a view only password just press enter okay it is not required now so your vnc server is up and running on port 1 
right and you have given the password for that one and we have already opened the console as well right so now access it with the help of tiger vnc so how to access it is the same way we have given in our this particular linux machine when we have done the tunneling if you go to ssh and then tunneling here we have given the 5901 right so access the vnc tiger vnc or tight vnc and here enter the same thing localhost 590 one if you have run it on some different port then you have to specify the port accordingly two three four or whatever right so now click on connect it will prompt you for password right so you have to enter the password whatever you have given during the starting of vnc server and now you can see i am i can able to access my linux machine graphical interface okay it is the first time it is registering for some component this is not required i will click on cancel now you can scroll up and scroll down to see the console okay so now here you can see that this is the uh, graphical interface of your linux machine of my machine which is this one which is running on my this ec2 instance amazon instance. this is my running linux machine this is the way how we, i can access it from the uh, command line console and this is way how we can access the graphical interface it from using the vnc server right and now to open your prompt then you can click on this terminal window okay so when you will click on terminal right so this will open your this will open your uh, terminal here okay and now you can run any command from here okay so this is the terminal window that we have um, used right this we can but we are accessing from the putty y this is the same window right that we are accessing now from the uh, graphical interface as well okay so this is my um, gui window now if you wanted to install your uh, softwares or anything that you can initiate it from here okay so let me uh, show you how you can initiate the graphical interface from here okay so i have oracle user for the installation so i will go to my <coughs> oracle user right so <coughs> we have already installed the web logic okay so i will show you how you can create a domain now so we all know, know the process how we can create a domain but what i'm showing you is how you can create it by using the graphical interface right so for that one i will go inside my middleware directory okay let's first me see where i have my middleware home okay and then this is my oracle home directory which is already there right this is one of the directory okay and now i have to go inside my oracle common okay inside that common and then inside that bin right so this is directly from where you have to initiate the configuration wizard when you are going for the configuration of your uh, domain right so how we create the domain we just run the config.sh or config.sscmd in windows right so let me initiate my config.sh here okay so i have run the config.sh now you can see the graphical interface is running okay so it will start the wizard okay so now this is the same way as we installed it on our windows machine right we get the same wizard on the windows machine as well okay this is the way how we create the domain let me create a sample domain for you inside the default directory which is selected click on next and then inside the default template okay and after that you have to give the username and password for your admin console right and now after that one you have to select the mode i have selected, selected the default development mode then you have to specify the configurations if you would like to configurations for your domain okay so i am not selecting anything because i am just giving you a demo how to create that one right so it will take all the default configurations and it will create the domain so now you can see that my domain is created right and how i have created this domain i have created this domain using the graphical interface of my linux machine right and now let me go to my putty by session okay let me show you where i have created my domain i have created the inside oracle middleware and then user domain right to so user projects okay sorry q01 and then app oracle middleware user domain let me see that one what is name 
okay so permission is that because i am at the ec2 user so i have to go with the oracle user okay now i can go to my user group directory right and then i have directory domain and then i have my base domain right so this is my domain now which i have created using my interface right so if you wanted to install your services either you can install from here or if you don't want to start stop from here because the interface we use only during for the installation and configurations when it is done we do the operations from our local system right so once it is done you can go inside your directory and then you can do the operations whatever you wanted to do installation start stop of your services okay so this is how we can initiate the uh, uh vnc services how we can install the gui on the linux if it is not there and then how you can download the tiger vnc or tight vnc or any client software to access the vnc server services and then how you can uh install the linux uh and, and the web logic and then create the domain okay so same way the once our uh, console is accessible right then you can do install install any software in the graphical interface you, if you want to install the uh, web logic in, uh, in interface mode then you can just run the command java hyphen jar and the name of your installer it will again in start in the graphical interface mode right so thanks for watching this video